Everyone has a choice to make, and sometimes it's real life over philanthropy. You may as well call me AT&T because I am always raising the bar. Hair is my thing, and problems, I solve them. In a sea full of clownfish, I'm a shark. Don't be on the menu. You and me are not the same. I don't chase money. I be money. I put my heart into the music and no time into the BS. So today I'm meeting with my friend Amari, and Amari is probably one of the coolest straight men I have ever known in my entire life. He's just an amazing producer, a singer, and I decided that now, ever since I had to disconnect myself from the situations that I was at with, you know, all my other uh, ventures, I wanted to restart and come back, and I felt like the best person that's going to help me really relay the message in this song is going to be Amari. Now, he and his team are multi-platinum Grammy Award, but you know, all those, all those. And uh, I'm really proud to be their friend and just uh, the fact that I get to be in their company. So I'm so excited to bring them along uh, to help me with this project. All Fun and Games will be out and it will spread the message that I need to. You now contracted HIV. So that's why it's called All Fun and Games until someone gets hurt. That's deep. Yes, thank you. It thank you. Sound, it's funny because the beat didn't sound like that. So I don't oh, know how wait. Song Baby, wait till I put it down. Well, not David, but you know what I'm saying. Don't yeah. Um, don't worry about it, girl. <laughs> don't worry about it, girl. Sometimes you can get your feelings and your emotions involved trying to make this person love you or, you know, and they'll give you everything that they want. They will tell you everything. They will tell you that you're beautiful, you're this and you're that and they don't think about your emotions because they're too busy trying to get their nut for the night and you don't know there's seven other holes. They ain't got seven other holes. You know, you thinking, oh, this is, a, <laughs> this is my good swipe. This is my good swipe. <laughs> this is a swipe. <laughs> but then that shit just becomes all fun and games because at the end of the day, all his promiscuous behavior, um, that he, all his behavior that you thought was didn't affect you now, you can leave me emotionless and make me feel like I'm nothing or I'm just like a, a piece of toy to you until someone gets hurt and that person being me. I just want to release me. The, the attention span. Right? Exactly. Because so. if I give them a whole album, they're going to listen to it, they're going to skip through it, and then they're just going to forget so it. some songs might fall through it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And it costs too much a exactly. minute exactly. to record no song. Exactly. All right, so let me get into this song here. So, uh... Let's do what we normally do. I'm excited about it. You know, I gotta get my, my vocals more. I'm gonna say, are you warmed up? No, <laughs> but I will get there. You know how I do. I start, I mess up a little bit. There's some cracks in there. There's some shebangs, and then the voices start peaking. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just in time, but oh, no, no, ma'am. Just in time for the week. Being in the studio is like my haven. Like it just, it brightens up my whole day. Brightens my whole room. Um, usually for me, I'm not one of those bitches that can just go into the studio and be like, ah! I can't do that. It's not gonna happen. No, ma'am. That's not what I do on a regular basis. I've been talking for a while. So I have to warm up my voice and then sometimes I have to be, my vocals have to get adjusted to the, the repetitive pattern that I'm going to be singing. So it'll allow me to open up. This is, I mean, now, mind you, this is not, you know, it's just in my mind. I can feel the attitude coming out because I can really feel the sound. Like I'm really feeling this, like this is a real life story. So uh, the more I do is the more attitude I can give with it. Because I'm really, in this song, I'm really talking to the person, you know, so... Just in time for the weekend. 
And you're going down your call list to see who gets your love with your soul empty. Feeling real proud, just single. Fresh and ready to mingle. But that's not the story that you told to me. You told me that you like me. And you're sorry, but you're not ready. And you're not trying to move that fast. So why are you acting like we are already there? It's all fun then game. Till someone gets her It's all fun and game Till someone gets her It's all fun and game Till someone gets hurt It's all fun and game Hey, 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 hey. Did someone get hurt? Ah, coming out of the studio session, I feel like, oh, this this shit is about to, I'm about to show you what the fuck I can do. I'm gonna show you how I give it up because I've been sitting in the background. I've been studying and seeing what the fuck everybody else is doing. But now, let me tell you something. I'm a marketer. <laughs> I come from corporate. Okay, you're going to tell me. No. I've been living there for too long. Now it's time for me, like, you know what? Now that I have this opportunity being around this group of people, it's bringing me opportunities that I feel like I want to take advantage of. And after walking out of there, I was like, oh, bitch, I'm ready. I'm ready. Excuse me, let me speak to the manager. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for coming to my unpacking party. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about childhood trauma because I feel like we've all gone through childhood trauma. Mm -hmm. um, today we're here with Dr. Terrell. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming. Appreciate you having me. So today is the day of my trauma party, AKA the unpacking party. And I want to unpack all of our childhood issues. Hopefully everybody is open and willing to talk about their issues. I have Dr. Terrell, who is awesome. He's gonna break down and help us understand our childhood traumas. And hopefully we could just learn from each other and moving forward, the issues that happen, like with me and Jamie and me and Bryson, we will be able to come to understanding, understand where all this stems from. Well, my name is Terrell Tepper. Uh, I've been doing therapy now for about 10 years as a, as a licensed therapist. I've been fully licensed since 2016. Um, I actually met Greg at a Christian counseling agency that I work for. Um, and before that, I've, I've provided therapy in a lot of different um, settings to a lot of different populations. Um, the majority of my background, I think, been working with kids. I worked in a crisis stabilization facility. I've also uh, been a clinical director of a uh, in-home counseling and therapy agency. So <clears throat> I've worked with a lot of different people in a lot of different capacities. Um, so I've seen a lot of trauma. I've seen a lot of different reactions to trauma. So um, I'm just here to lend to the conversation however I can. Can you explain to us what trauma is? So trauma is really not the event that a lot of people associate with the trauma. The trauma is your reaction to the event. So like you might experience something that might have a traumatic impact on you, mm -hmm. but I might experience the same thing and I won't have that same, you know, reaction. So the trauma is really your reaction to an event. It's not the actual event. So I invited the whole group to my event. I invited Jamie and Bryson, but they didn't show up. Quan didn't show up. And I felt like this would have been a great opportunity for us to really understand each other a little bit more, especially from the night that we had. Um, I got a text from Ty explaining why he didn't really want to come to my party, but that's fine. Um, Jamie had to go out of town, allegedly. Kwanzaa had a funeral, allegedly. And Bryson had a you know, roll, allegedly, but that's fine. The show must go on. So I want to play a little game with me and Darian on this side to come up with. Um, so here we have a bunch of different childhood traumas and I want everybody to pick something that's best associated with their childhood. If you don't have any trauma, that's fine. 
I have no trauma on here too. And if there's one on here where you don't see, you could write it on here too. So I'm gonna pass this around and after that, we're gonna talk about it. And I want everybody to be as open as possible. If you don't wanna share, that's fine, but just be as open as possible. So I'll pass the board <laughs> around and I'll pass. So we all pick something from the board. I'll go first. So I picked bullying. So uh, I'm getting kind of emotional. <laughs> It's not, no, it's, it's, it's not funny. No, it's it's not funny. You think it's funny, but for no, me, it wasn't it's... funny being a seven-year-old kid. So a lot of people don't know this. I'm not from this country originally. Right. I'm from Jamaica, and my life in Jamaica was charmed. Like when I came here, it was just different. Americans are very. You all being American don't understand how <laughs> different it is. Culture. Well, I'm Jamaican. Yeah. You're half Jamaican, but you weren't born in Jamaica, raised in. Well, I, was I, raised I, in Jamaica, I used to but, be in Jamaica, <laughs> but most of your life was here. But this is my story. Well, I stayed in Jamaica for a couple of years, uh, like a year. So. I stayed in Jamaica for five years. It wasn't. It, that's where I was. Um, but when I moved here, like I don't know, in Jamaica, I've, I've, I'm a very happy person. I'm very fun. I'm happy. So when I moved here, um, I was five and I started kindergarten and kids were like really mean to me because I had an accent, I was different. My parents, they bought clothes from the swap shop for, for, for me. So I didn't, you know, and kids were just always mean and I was bullied a lot. Like, oh, shut up, stupid Haitian, African. I'm like, I'm, I don't even know what, what that is. Mm -hmm. So I actually developed a speech impediment because of it. And I had to go to speech therapy because around people I get very nervous and I was stuttered. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I still deal with a speech and thing. A lot of people don't know it because I could talk very clear, but I have to think about everything what I learned in therapy when I was seven years old. And it was a lot. I feel like a lot of people were bullied. I'm not from this country originally. I was born in Jamaica. I came here when I was five. And for a lot of immigrants, it's really hard. A lot of people don't really understand what it's like for immigrants. So for me to express and share my story, it felt really good. So we have oh. Arion next. So I wrote suicidal thoughts. I Man, I should have wrote attempted suicide. So growing up, um, I'm the oldest at, uh, in my household. Uh, I was being bullied both at school and at home due to my sexuality. So I really didn't have anyone to talk to about my um, sexuality. And me being the oldest, I feel like I had to put on a, a facade because I'm the oldest. I had needed to like act like a dude for my sister and brother, mm -hmm. even though I want to be my queen self. But um, right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, for me, it was um, I started um, tipping to the side uh, almost like around twelve or thirteen. Um, my first time, I was trying to suffocate myself. The all right party, the trauma party, it's more so like getting a bitch party. Um, I didn't like, I didn't like the, the trauma party and like the whole idea of having to come on this platform and express my business to these type of girls that I don't even fucking know. Um, these girls talking about committing suicide. I, I didn't go through that. Darion, more power to you, but you know, I don't know. The second time I tried to drown myself in my mom's tub. And the third time I was at school trying to hang myself. It was just, um, I really didn't uh, have anyone to really talk to about my sexuality. And then I was forced to tell my parents about me being gay on Valentine's Day because a guy um, in middle school told his parents that I had a crush on him, who then told my um, principal, who told my parents, and um, they was asking me about what was going on in school and there was like next time well my stepdad at the time he was like next time i hear you say anything about being gay at school or around the house you're going back to your you're going where your dad's at yeah at the time i didn't know my dad i didn't know where he was so i just know i was going to be homeless some people may look at it oh you're doing too much you should keep some things to yourself but you never know who's living in the same um, journey as you. So for me to share, hey, yes, I committed suicide. Well, try it, girl. If, if I committed suicide, I won't be here. But if I tried to commit suicide at least four to five times uh, at a young age. Um, and so for me to share the story, 
is pl plus with someone who's trying to commit suicide and lessen the amount of stories or tension um, the next person may have. So my mine would be manhood. Um, the only reason why I choose manhood is because my dad passed away in 2015 and I didn't have a trauma childhood. I had an excellent childhood. I traveled, had all the money, had all the cars. I was raised well. Just my father passed away. I didn't know who to go to when I had my first nut. Um, <laughs> oh. And it's, it's things like that. As a grown up, as a man, my father wasn't there. Girl, bye. Why y'all here lying? We all know you had trauma. Like, what I don't like is he's sitting here looking at us saying, oh, I had drivers growing up. I had this, I had that. My daddy dropped me to school in a Mercedes. We had all the nicest cars. Shut the fuck up, you are lying. You are fucking lying. Like, who the fuck are you? Your name is Devonte Collins, not Devonte Kardashian or Devonte Hilton. Shut the fuck up. Um, I've had stepfathers who came to my life to show me different things, but it's just my father wasn't there to show the real, the real, yeah, me. the real. How do you, how so like, me, right. guide you? So my my life, my life, my 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 mentality now is to, and it should be this way, but it's this way. But it is to think, act like a man, but think like a woman, because I've always grown up with my mom, so it's always it's so it's a, it's a okay. act like a man, but think like a woman. But it's always I'm like the red said the other day, you, I was a man first before being gay. Mm -hmm. So I always know that that's my. Yeah. So do you think you overcompensate being a man? Like it's like I gotta. Um, I mean? In certain ways, I don't that myself in meetings to be a man. But personal life, I can be a whole woman. I have a clitoris. Not a clitoris. Yeah. Honestly, I love who you are just I, as a person. In my mind, I have long fingernails. I have. I'm just ghetto ass. Bitch, I'm oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. 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 pink hair in your face. <laughs> yes, I'll let you grow into my business just a little tad bit. My dad was incarcerated most of my life, so I had to figure out life by myself growing up in a single mom, mom home. Then here comes City Girls with the fuck you and get money anthem, and I immediately took up that offer and I learned those antics and I learned how to be a motherfucking city girl. And I am here today being a motherfucking city girl. My thing, what I realized with Devontae, I feel like he doesn't want to show who he really is. Um, He wants to pretend and just act like he lives this grand life. And that's why me and my friend Pookie, we're looking at each other like that. Cause we're like, you're lying. Like, like th this we're talking about childhood trauma do you know what trauma is and i do know not everybody goes through trauma but come on you went through some trauma the fuck but we want to thank you so much for coming out and appreciate answering you for having me. I our mean, questions I, I definitely appreciate um because i'm like i think i told greg this every experience that i am fortunate enough to be involved in i take something from it mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so if i was you know, helpful to y'all in any way I, I, you know, that was the reason for me to come, but y'all have been helpful for me, so I appreciate the invite. Thank you. We thank truly appreciate you. Thank you for, thank you for coming on. Yes, sir. And thank you to everybody. Well, I want to be rude. Let me show you again. So, today, thank you, Jamaican, the American. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 He's learning. Uh, Alright, so, we're going to go to the next question. Okay. Um, Good morning. It is 5.58 in the morning. I am exhausted. On the way to the airport. On the way to Birmingham Airport. It's early, early morning. The sun is, you know, just coming up. I'm excited. I'm about to go to Houston and meet the group. Valentino been working on cheap code. Valentino got purpose, got set so Never stress no nigga, I'm a big hoe. No member, baby. Big Scorpio. When I sing, I do it right. Love free, read, bitch, you got my skin right. It's hot, you not kick rocks, you fly. Give me six feet. Hot, hot, shoot. Let me bless you, niggas. I'm the captain, still I'm saving, niggas. Transfers, we got funds, niggas. Born as fuck, I learn, niggas. Cha cha slide, this my party, nigga. Take the shot, no argument, nigga. Tops call me aggressive, bottom. I want a nigga with a lot of guap. I may let him play with me once, but he ain't gon'
play me again I let my niggas go do what they want Play me and I'ma go play with his friends You letting these niggas play you like a pawn Why they gon' play my shit all the <laughs> well, bitch, you got the code. What's the code to the Wi Fi? This could be haunted house. Girl. Wait up, Max. I'm still gonna be snow. Girl, let me hear my say. We in. I said that just. This is cute. Turn on the nice. lights. Welcome. It's a step right here. We got uh, here's where Quanz is gonna cook us breakfast. <laughs> Mama Quanz is gonna kick us breakfast. Run your ass upstairs. Look at him. I thought you were going to bring us up. That's like the upstairs, bitch. Bitch, I don't know. What the light switch? Yeah, no, why are these mirrors look like this? Why are they all on the floor? Okay, he's going to run one. Like this is going to be for me. <laughs> I think I found one. Of course, I found two. I found the bathroom. And it's a basement, right? It's a basement. Four, five, four, wait. This is one, two, three, four. <laughs> 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 She's gonna die in the bottom. Girl, it ain't no tops on that cast. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is nice. Oh. Finally, me and Darian finally get to Texas. It takes us so long to get to even my knees. And you know, I like to be on my knees, but not that long, okay? And me and Darian finally get to this house and it's beautiful. I come downstairs and I see um, Kwanzaa and I'm like, you know what? You know how sometimes like you just happen to just walk up on people and you should be like, oh, I really don't have a problem with this bitch. I'm gonna just stop fucking. Bitch, what's up? You and we just kind of like we know we see each other. Like, bitch, I get you though, but I, I like your spirit. You up here cooking? It's giving me real house some other vibes, and I'm like. I like this bitch. I actually like this bitch. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop being so motherfucking motherfucking. Okay. <laughs> Because you're already picking oh, pancakes. I'm picking myself pancakes because I want pancakes. But Ty, like. That's why I got pancakes. But Ty, what happened on the All right, we're having a brunch for everyone, though. Okay, so everyone can cook pancakes. Well, you're making pancakes. For me, I'm making pancakes. Okay, okay. Everyone can cook pancakes. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, that's how you're already making it. That's what I'm saying. It's just not making it. I already said what I was gonna do, so this already thing ain't gonna make a change. Girl, you you got you got some ages on me, some years. You've been making pancakes longer than I have. So you was here, you saw one of the pancakes. Why the hell you didn't make pancakes? Why the hell you wait till I get back to wanna ask me, can I make pancakes? No, I cannot. No. Okay. We're just telling you about yourself. I don't get it. I don't understand. Like we often to eat together. Right. Why? Girl, you're not doing all pancakes by yourself. Like, I'm what about you? Okay, like, see, about this everybody don't want pancakes, but it's some people that Give want pancakes. Give us the option. I want a pancake. You want a pancake. Kwan's want a pancake. I think Kwan okay. said you want pancakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Oh, so you want a pancake? Yeah, I don't. No, it's like, he don't want so pancakes. So it's six. Everybody don't want pancakes. So it's five pancakes. Six pancakes. 
Yeah. Seven, eight. Seven, yeah. Uh, seven, eight. Eight. <laughs> eight. It's the selfishness for me. What happened? I hear the same people that's calling me names and y'all for the two things. Anybody could have made pancakes. Why? I'm, I am I felt like you like he was trying to pump me out of something. Like, why I got to be the one to make pancakes? It was weird. Yeah, was it selfish? Absolutely. Especially when people are like walking in the kitchen and they're like, oh my God, you're making pancakes. And you're like, yes, but I'm only making three. Sorry, bitch. It's kind of like, ooh. You just fucked up my morning, so I can understand it. We're like, well, why aren't you making these pancakes? But at the same time, I don't know these hoes. We just like, we still get to know each other. I don't know what it's like to wake up to you in the morning and back it up. Okay, we're not doing that. So I don't have to, I don't owe you to make you pancakes just because you want pack fucking pancakes. That makes perfect sense to me. Because you should have traced Rochelle. Because I said Rochelle, you should have why are you responding? Being plural. Okay. I didn't call you a but name. Are you involved in the people? I didn't call you. I'm just okay, so you didn't call I'm being direct. Be direct. He called you a name. People didn't call you a name. I'm just saying that right. at this point, I don't want to pancake anymore. I don't want to pancake. It wasn't so much for me anyway, so hey, that's what I want. Enjoy your pancake. I will. Make sure you put extra stuff on it. Yeah, I'm going to put extra stuff on it. 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 I'm going to put extra stuff on Thank you. This is crazy. Well, happy brunch. Happy. 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 Happy.
And what he got to do with this? So he's gonna he's gonna be volunteering with us. Oh. I feel like I came on a vacation. <laughs> I feel like I was gonna have fun regardless of the next person. And so, what your agenda was and what you wanted to do, that was cute, boo. But I was gonna make sure I had a good time. So, he's a local in Houston. Cute. You got any salt? You got any salt? You got any salt? Hey, cute. I think everybody's cute. Ah! Girl! <laughs> Well, she's a very bisexual. She told me after I, after we had the conversation, I was just like, you know, after I moved from Atlanta, moved from Jersey, mm. and then came to Atlanta, and I was just like, I've been living my life, and we connected, and then we just had a conversation, and she was talking about it. I was like, girl, you know, I'm gay, right? And she was like, yeah. She was like, well, I'm more dark than my bisexual. And I was like, oh, okay. But it was like her spirit and how genuine she was. I just fell in love with being around her, and then we started clucking. Now, once we started doing that. You know, she had different ways of aggravating. She liked the aggression in me. I think she likes the aggression in me. And um, she likes to do shit that makes me like us have angry sex and then we make up and then everything is cool. But when she wants to have sex with me, she has to make me angry. That's how it works. She's weird. But I love her and we're past it. I told her I was gay later on, years down the line. She told me that she is bisexual. And I was like, oh, hi, you so Mm. But we used to love him out of frustration. Mm. Like she used to I got all get me angry. So that I know from my car. <laughs> you look at the girl. Like we had a really sexually turn on. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you think about niggas? Like, <laughs> no, I was she she was literally the first one that I think I would be. Would you still have sex with her now? Angry stay. Really? So are you bisexual? I don't know. <laughs> You, you know, if, if, if you get turned on by her, it, it's just her. It's just, it's yeah, her. You, 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 um, you bisexual. What does she look like? like she looks gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She had these oh big old titties. Ooh. And I used to suck on her titties and we used to like have angry sex. Ooh. What? Not, it was not <laughs> regular sex. But I didn't want to suck on her titties. Yes. <laughs> I used to suck on her titties. I think it was over there. And, and, and then what happened was, how we how we started was, I sang it, I was singing on the piano. And she, when I was singing on the piano to her. Oh, you say sign her drops? Yeah, she asked me to close my eyes. She asked me to, she asked me to close my, my eyes. Child, <laughs> and I closed, she asked me to close my eyes while I was singing, and I closed my eyes, and she kissed me. And then I went downstairs after, after finished singing, and I ate her pussy, and after that, I just got to I was not expecting that. You went downstairs, you closed your eyes, and really went downstairs, and you ate her pussy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Since we're all courting, everybody's here for the most part. Jamie unfortunately couldn't be here, but if he was, I think he would enjoy the moment too. Just talking to everyone and saying, hey, I'm sorry. Like, look, you know, I came downstairs and I got fucked up and I, now, you know, I've been seeing everything. I'm just like, I'm having a good time. I'm losing the fact that my uncle is very sick and, um, they're letting me know he has just time to die. Like he's been, they've been saying that to me like, can you imagine over and over? Um, again, hearing, I don't know what day is coming, but it's coming, you know, and you deal with that and you have nobody else. Like I, you know, that was like, you know, that's a weird part of my life. But I do know that it was hard opening up to people. Let me, let me just say this, so uh, I can. I was apology. Oh, no, it is. I will say, sometimes 
I, I will say that I have this internal yeah. mechanism of defense, being defensive a lot, so it just comes like even though like defensive when you don't have. I would say this. Yeah, yeah I, exactly. So I mean, think about okay, is this bitch are you really saying the best? Is this saying this? Are you really trying to be? Are you trying to be friendly? Because every time I go out, it's always some shade. It's always some. So I, I apologize to everyone for that is, taking that out on everyone, especially when I'm drinking, because you know I'm not apologizing for drinking. No, 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 no we didn't say that. We know you're gonna drink, but we got to I'm just saying <laughs> what, I, what I will apologize for is you know for if I not if I, I took that if word out. I said some disrespectful things to each and every single one of you. I take full responsibility for it. Brayton apologized all the time for everything and all his reactions. So his apologies be accepted, but nobody forgets about it. Because if he, he'll call you a bitch now, you know why he's intoxicated. And when he gets sober, he's sorry. If he get intoxicated five minutes later, you're another bitch, you're another hoe. You need to sit your dirty head down somewhere. Then when he'll be saying, he'll say anything to come to his mind. So you, you got to take it or leave it with Bryson because in whatever is up and it be stuck. And I apologize about that and I will learn how to not be so defensive around or just be so quick to jump to you trying to be coming down my heart. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I did something that's cancer. Right, we're not going to gloss off of this apology and you take accountability because mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. Like, from the bottom of my heart, it's like, you know, hopefully, I mean, that, this like it's hope. For the, <laughs> it's rest, hope. The, hope. For the rest of this trip. So, I, I appreciate I it. Just, you know, so who here is all of this? This apology. You accepted it. I accept it. I accept it. I accept it. No, I don't have it. I'm going to accept, you know, right now, because if we really want to, like, uh, we didn't have I just said what I said and then, you yeah. know, I would do it. <laughs> but um, I was just telling you last night, you know, people are Wait till a problem. This is a turning point for me at this time. Like, I've never seen this side of Bryson. I just, you know, I've been seeing like the raw, raw side of him. Like, I've never seen this side of Bryson. I just, you know, I've been seeing like the raw, raw side. But now I'm seeing like a warm side of him. And he's like looking at me and looking at everybody. He seemed really innocent. And I just feel like I need to operate him a, a little differently because Bryson to me, he's not what people think he is. You know, he's just gone through a lot and I feel like we all could relate to him. Hopefully everybody could relate to him because I know that that to me was really like a moment where I felt connected to Bryson. Well, I don't, it's, I don't, I don't think I really have a problem with these hoes. I just think that I'm just like on my guard because I'm waiting I'm waiting to knuckle up, but like in a like a. You know, I'm not gonna fight now. I have. A, I just got a new a new promotion with benefits. I will sue you. I will sue you now. Okay, I won't fight you. I will sue you. So, I'm just like, ah, these bitches. I right, let me just calm the fuck down. Let's eat and let's have a good time and let somebody. Cause I'm realizing also, there's some tea. There's some shit that is brewing around. I don't know what's in the fucking milk, but I know it's fucking, it's dirty. It's dirty. It's not dry. We film at 5 o'clock. <laughs> the lights are there, breakfast, the lights are there. <laughs> I said, yeah, on the phone. <laughs> but like I said, I accept it. I think it's going to happen again. Yeah. But I have a Do you accept this apology? Okay, so we all accept. I accept, but I expect. The old man, yeah. there we go. It's been good for it. It's been, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't expect change in one day or the night. I just so, so that's how I would say tonight when you get done with y'all, this might happen again. Yeah. Okay. But these sausages are good. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Good. Right. Thank you. Amen. Juan's are trying to kill a bitch. Oh. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.